dominated on the road and street courses and the kind of the talk around is, well, you know, he's not the guy on the right. ovals. Well, right. man, he showed, and this is not your everyday oval, but he, he showed what he was made of today. Mm -hmm. 225.991 on the third lap for Alex. And really, up until yesterday, you know, he had been a little bit of a sleeper. Yep. Being Will Power. Yeah, right. He, you he know, made very you even made, I remember you making yeah. a comment. We haven't yep. heard much from him. And then all of a sudden, right. within an hour of you saying that, <laughs> he really posted some times yesterday. Yeah, I emceed a news conference with members of Team Penske yesterday, and I said, Will, you haven't made much noise yet. What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> he did today. <laughs> 226.245 for Alex Tagliani. Hideki Muto will return to the course. Yeah, I'm, su I'm surprised. I actually didn't think we'd see Muto back, but they're going to give it another whirl. Oh, uh, yeah. Elio's, now, now uh, hang on. He might roll out if they'll let him, because if you do a second run, you get another set of tires. So you could just go tootle around and pull back in, and you get a set of tires. You'll, they'll take every set of tires they can get. That, you're saying and not, you and, not put a, and not put a big heat load in them, is yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, and then bring them back for you. Lindy's with Will Power. The guys were just talking a second ago, and they said you look just relieved to have that helmet off, huh? Yeah, I am, man. I tell you, oh, putting it on the line that many times was tough. But uh, yeah, really happy with the position we are right now. It's great to get the Verizon car up there. But um, can't catch that Castronovas. He's just too quick. What did you think overall the day, the way it went? It was good. I think the shootout's pretty fun. Yeah. Like, you don't lose your time if you go back out. And uh, you just keep, you know, which entices people to keep going. You know, we wouldn't have gone otherwise. Sounds good. We'll see you later, Will. Thanks. Thank you. All right. We keep it going, Bob. Indeed we do. We've still got 12 minutes and 10 seconds to go in the Deki Muto. Moves on to the two and a half mile over once again. Hideki has a average of 224.498. He is the ninth fastest, so he's looking to move up. Ed Carpenter would be the eighth quick at 224.50. And remember, Muto, in his first run when we went to the top nine, his first lap was a 226 and a half. Yeah, we we haven't seen him repeat that. It's but he did after that. Yeah, but he did post it. Turned in that lap at a 230.4. So the cooler, somewhat cooler temperatures are helping that. This does not appear to be quite as quick though. It's in the 225 range. It's 225.290 to be exact. Could move him up one spot. However, if he doesn't have the same drop off that he did before, that could work for him. Last time, as you said, Robbie started off really strong and then really drifted off. Castro Nevis on the provisional pole here with ten and a half minutes to go on pole day. Second lap for Hideki Muto is 224.664. Dropped off on lap two. And that pole time that, that Elio's sitting on of just knocking on the door of a 228 average. I don't think anybody came close to thinking we were going to see that today with the track getting as hot as it yeah. did and just the ambient temperature being in the mid 80s. If there was anybody who could have had a shot, I think we've seen that with power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that he yes. was he was knocking on the door with the cooler temperatures. Third lap for Hideki, 224.594. And he's out of it. Yep, he said, okay, we've had enough fun for yep. today. All right, Elio is going to go back out. What do you have to lose? You have something to gain for your teammate, too. Remember, sometimes your best offense is a good defense. Yep. Well, yep. they're telling him to shut it off. Nope. Again, 
if they let him go out, because Brian Barnhart was saying, if we get towards the end and you're P1 and you're taking up space, we're not going to let you go. But we're not at the very, very end. We'll still give people an opportunity to run. What it is that Hideki Muto backed off, but then he didn't come in the pits right away. Now they've got him going. Yeah. Again, there is no incentive whatsoever, I don't believe, for Castro Neves to even lean on it. And now, just because we're seeing him go slower here than anybody else, this is also what he did in his run prior. He's yeah. gone very slow as he headed out, and he'll go slow through turn two, and then he'll just pick it up down the back chute. Right. If he doesn't pick it up down the back chute, then we know he's just going to tuck down pit lane. You think you're going to wave him off if, that, if they do that? He's got to be close to his time or I'll wave him off. He can take his warm-up lap as quick as he wants. Okay. In the meeting, that's dirty that pull. That's dirty pull. He's got plenty of time. That's dirty pull. He he the end end that's, dirty pull. Yeah. that's dirty pull, Brian. You know, you know what's going on there, okay? That's bullshit. That's bullshit, <laughs> We apologize for the language, but it's a it's a valid point because in the meeting, Brian Barnhart said, if you are the pole sitter and you go out onto the track with just a few minutes to go, he's going to pull him because you cannot improve yourself. Right, but let him pull him because you've gone out for an attempt and you'll yeah. get your tires. Right. So everybody would be happy. Just say, yeah. Sorry, Elio, we're going to pull you. And right. you say, fine, no problem. I'll take my tires and Chip can be happy. But right. but one point, even in the meeting, Barnhart said, if you were the quickest guy, I wasn't. he wasn't going to let, let you go, you go back out. out. Yeah, he so, said with three minutes to go is what he said. Yeah, you know, and, so, we're, and we're not there. We're, we're about six yeah, and, minutes to go. Yeah, Elio's so, going to finish this run long before. And the, guys, uh, remember the rivalry between Chip Ganassi <laughs> yes. and Roger Penske. This is a game right now of one-upsmanship. And right now, the guy that's on the bad side of that one-upsmanship is talking to Brian Barnhart. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think that the reason we're, with what Brian said, is, is it's not with two minutes to go. You know, it's not at that very last guy. There's still time for him to do a, a run and Absolutely. maybe even get two more guys. Now, he's still at 231 miles an hour. I mean, those aren't the the super incredible numbers we saw earlier. <laughs> we, we are so distorted when <laughs> we're saying, oh, 231, we're just, oh my gosh. It's just, oh boy. It's gonna take about three minutes at the most for Elio to complete this run. So there's gonna be plenty of time for Dario Franchitti to go onto the racetrack and try to knock Elio off the pole. And maybe Dixon too. But Dixon hasn't shown the speed, I don't think, that Dario has. Yeah, Frank, can be the guy? Yeah. Uh, I agree. 227, 390 is the first lap for Elio. That's, so, that's the definition of being close to his time. Sure. What uh, Brian Barnhart said would be the, the yardstick. He did get over 232, 232.1. Again, that's shy of the muscle he showed earlier. And, and we're looking there. Look at the top of our screen. We got six minutes left. I mean, there's plenty yeah. of time for him to complete think, this. You know, he's putting an effort in, but Barnhart should on this next one. Just say, okay, you know, that's a great time, but compared to your other run, <laughs> right. you're taking up space. Mm -hmm. 227.5 yeah. was a little faster. But part of the whole game is the gray area of the yeah. rules, yeah. challenging right. the rules. If we didn't do that, why would we be here? Right. It's the spirit of competition, isn't it? Something controversy. like that. Controversy, that's right. <laughs> the interesting thing was this scenario was pre-discussed. Yes. And it was like, what if I'm P1 and I want to go out at the end? So I'm not going to let you. He right. said, I'm not going to let you. And of course, that argument was between Roger Bensky Brian Barnhart, there and sure go. enough, they there pulled him. And that's, what, and that's what they should have done. That was a good call. And away he goes, right behind Elio. <laughs> so good, huh? And he did what he said he was going to do. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if this all plays out, Dixon will have time for his run, and the next car in line probably should get out as the last call. Yeah. And that's what he said. If there was three minutes, I won't let you go. It wasn't three minutes, and he pulled him off and gave him a shot. Look at this. Boys, welcome. We are no longer in the triple A's here. We are in the majors. We are in the majors. Dixon is P2. 